Hello and welcome to the episode 284 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Among other things, today we'll see Ringo unsuccessfully trying his luck with his first serious band, NEMS announcing a Christmas tour, and the White Album sessions focusing on some songs by George and Ringo. Let's start in an unusual fashion. On the 11th of October 1959, while the Quarrymen, that is, George Harrison, John Lennon and Paul McCartney were pondering what to do after losing their residency at the Casbah Coffee Club, as detailed in yesterday's episode, another band, Jet Storm and the Hurricanes, featuring Ringo Starr on drums, auditioned for ATV's Carol Lewis new program to find new TV stars, TV Star Search. They were unsuccessful. Moving to more familiar waters, in 1960, the Beatles, featuring Pete Best on drums and Stu Sutcliffe on bass, performed another evening at the Kaiser Keller in Hamburg, West Germany, alternating on stage with Rory Storm and the Hurricanes. These were the same Hurricanes that tried to appear on ATV one year earlier, still featuring Ringo Starr on drums and Jet changing his name into Rory. In 1962, the Beatles, now featuring Ringo Starr on drums and with Paul McCartney on bass, performed a concert at the Rialto Barroom in Liverpool for the Rock and Twist Carnival event, organized by Liverpool University. Another concert in 1963, with the Fabs performing at the Barroom of the Trentham Gardens in Trentham. And we can close the live section of this episode with a continuation of the 1964 British tour of the Beatles, with a stop at the Odeon Cinema in Birmingham. Talking about tours, on the 11th of October 1965, after six weeks of negotiations between the Beatles, their manager Brian Epstein and tour promoter Arthur Hose, NAMS Enterprises finally announced the nine-date British tour of the band, which would take place in December. The tour was short enough to appease the Beatles, and it was placed strategically, so that they wouldn't have to put on another Christmas production to satisfy Epstein and their fans. The nine concerts would earn £1,000 per night to the Fabs, about £19,500 in 2020 money, a record for British acts. Unbeknownst to all but probably the Beatles, this was to be their last tour in UK. And this won't be the last time I urge you to visit www.simonmas.com support to find out how you can support this podcast and my efforts to bring you ever-improving content dealing with all things music. If everything else fails, please drop me a line telling me what you like in my work so far, so that I can keep it up in future productions. Thank you. In 1967, the work on the editing of the Magical Mystery Tour film went on restlessly at Norman's Film Productions. Let's close the episode with a 1968 session. Between 3 pm and midnight, at the EMI Studios, the Beatles kept working on the White Album, having Savoy Truffle completed with saxophone overdubs. The score, prepared by production assistant Chris Thomas, was recorded with Ronnie Ross and Bernard George on baritone sax, and Art Ellefson, Danny Moss, Harry Klein and Derek Collins on tenor. The sound was artificially distorted by George Harrison while being recorded, acting on the console in the control room with the addition of two high-gain amplifiers. Allegedly, George apologized to the musicians to have affected their lush-sounding performance that way, but he wanted that sound to complement what had been already recorded. Having completed the task from 6 pm, the session continued with a mono and stereo mixdown of Piggies, Don't Pass Me By, and Good Night. Having said this, we can close today's episode. 
tomorrow we'll deal with more recording sessions for four different releases this time. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.